Kia ora everyone, London, Sydney, Auckland, which is more expensive? We asked this question after international rugby correspondent Peter Bills wrote in the New Zealand Herald, and I quote, this place is becoming one of the most expensive I visit. One giant rip-off. That's pretty strong. It provoked a flood of responses, some disagreeing, but many agreeing. So, was Peter Bills right? Remember, he was writing as a visitor, not as a local. Two glasses of wine, a coffee, a rental car, that sort of thing. The kind of stuff travellers worry about. So we made our reporters, travellers, three cities, the same purchases in each. Are we being ripped off? Travelling to far-off lands can take your wallet by surprise. From sightseeing to grabbing a meal or a drink, hiring a car or just picking up a few groceries, prices differ from country to country. So how does New Zealand stack up? We asked a few tourists. It's not so expensive, expensive as Sydney. I think it is like uh, a bit more cheap. I'm from Malaysia, so uh, looking at the exchange rate, it's not that expensive. I think Sydney is more expensive. I think fruits. Fruits in, in Brazil, for example, is even much cheaper than here. No, definitely not compared to Europe. No, it's pretty inexpensive, actually. But is that reality or perception? Let's look at a typical tourist activity, sightseeing. European correspondent Kim Chisnell's checked out the view in London. Every year, 3.75 million people come on the London Eye. From the top, you can see over 40 kilometres. But views like this don't come cheap. A single ticket is £17.95. That's around 38 New Zealand dollars. A 220 metre trip up the Sky Tower in Auckland will set you back $28. For an extra 30 metres up Sydney's Tower, it's around $31. So, just like the rugby, New Zealand wins that one. So what about transport? Well, one stage on the bus in Auckland will cost you $1.70. In London, add another $2. But what does Amanda Gillies have to pay in Australia? The easiest way to get around Sydney is using the public transport. Hi there, I was just wondering how much for one section? That'll be $2. Fantastic, thank, thank you. you. So that's $2. That's around about $2.50 New Zealand. Add another dollar and you can catch the train in London, but Sydney is a shocker. It's $3.20 or around about $4 New Zealand. One stop in Auckland is $1.50 on a much smaller network. If you want to hire a standard four-door rental car, it will be cheaper in London by at least $100, although New Zealand did undercut Australia in two of the three companies we checked. Oof, well, after all that travel, you'll want to wet your whistle. Let's head to North London first. In Exmouth Market, Kiwi Miles Kirby runs Cafe Caravan. I actually find Auckland quite expensive when I go back, actually. But is that reality or perception? If you want top quality in London, you spend a huge amount of money to get it. Whereas I think in Auckland or anywhere in New Zealand, you can get really, really great, great quality food and, and drinks at, at, at an OK price. We may moan about the price of alcohol in bars. And yet, for a glass of house white and a beer, our prices are very comparable. But there is one exception, the flat white. In London, this can cost you $5. So what about basic food items? To the supermarket, we go. Again, prices were comparable, but if you want to know who's cheapest, for bread, Auckland. Milk, London. Cheese, London. Leg of lamb, London, just over Auckland. Beef steak, Auckland. Chicken breast, Sydney wins one back. So far, Auckland's been holding its own, until now. Back to Amanda in Sydney. If you want to relax with a good book in the city, a popular one such as this costs $25. Of course, if you'd rather see this at the movies, a single adult ticket costs $17.50. If you want to go a little fancy, gold class is $26 here. When it comes to the movies, we do very well here in New Zealand. However, Auckland and Sydney can't compete with London when it comes to books and DVDs, at least $10 cheaper for a new release. We're almost at the end of our list, and Kim's got the munchies. A Big Mac combo is pretty much the same around the world. Here in New Zealand, it costs $7.90, and in Sydney... Amanda is counting her calories, so her cameraman forked out $8.50, while in London... 
Well, this is a medium meal. It's exactly the same as a combo. Medium fries, medium Coke, and of course the Big Mac. The only difference being is that the Big Mac is made with British beef. The whole thing costs £3.89, which is just over $8 in New Zealand. And the Big Mac tastes exactly the same. Well, that's the end of our whistle stop tour around the world. So which city was the winner overall? Of the 17 items we looked at, Auckland was the cheapest for nine of them. So the tourists do well here. It's the locals who suffer. On average, we take home $100 less a week than those in the UK and a whopping $580 less than the Australians. Now that is something to moan about. Time for a flat light.